Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh, here on YouTube. Um, now, a while back, uh, he goes by many names, Melman Mandela, Johnny Exotic, uh, John Harvey. Um, I like to call him Johnny Exotic. Um, he sent me a package of really cool stuff a while back, and... Uh, one of the things that he sent was uh, a bundle of guitar picks in a, like in a little, not a dip can, but uh, like a little round tin. And uh, a bunch of them he had made, uh, they were just like plastic stamp out picks, you know. Um, and uh, he sent me a bunch of them. It was really cool. It's really cool having a bunch of picks that, that uh, Johnny made. Um, but he sent, he sent me this pick uh, to, 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 I guess, do a review on. And I just haven't done it so far because I play fingerstyle so much. But uh, it's, called a, it's called a Gunas pick. And it's like, it's kind of thick and chunky. You know, like, it, but it tapers down. So it's kind of like a hybrid of like a kind of a normal guitar pick and a jazz pick tight pick and it's supposed to I guess have these ergonomically correct curves and stuff in them I can't figure out the damn way to hold the thing to be honest um, <laughs> it's it's weird cause if I hold if I hold it like this like it's kind of supposed to be held I have to like do this to play my guitar <laughs> and uh, but anyhow, I'm going to try it out on an old uh, Diplomat song. Let's see how... Because, uh, to be honest with you, ever since I stopped playing... Uh, you know, not to say that I, I, I've stopped. I would gl I'd pick it up in a second. Uh, but I don't play electric guitar in garage rock or punk rock bands these days. Um, I mainly just play acoustic blues on my guitar, and I always use my fingers for that. I just go finger style. I like it better. So, I rarely use picks, and if I do use a pick, it's a little stamp out one. It's one made from a. a you can get these little things you can stamp your credit cards and make them into guitar picks. Um, his teacher had one at school, who's an old friend of mine, and. Uh, and uh, Beckett stamped me out a pick. And that's, if I use a pick, that's the one I normally use because my son made it for me. It's special. But uh, we'll try it out here on this old, this old chestnut. Oh, see, I can't figure out how to hold the fucking thing. I'm going to hold it backwards. Anyhow, okay, well, it's not a harmonica review anyway. Anyhow. Fuck, I don't know. See, this pick just keeps sliding and slipping around in my fingers. Um, here's one of the ones that, uh, I believe this is one that Johnny made. Um, or he works at a company that makes, makes these. Um, I find this pick is much easier to use. <laughs> Took me to your tombstone, baby. See if I lay down and die. I died within my memory, and my memory is alive. My memory is alive. Yeah, see, like I get a lot more 
responses. I get a lot. It's it's a lot better to hold this a plain old flat pick than than this thing. This thing's holding like holding a slippery piece of. It's it's it doesn't feel like I'm using a guitar pick. It feels like I'm using something other than a guitar pick, and because uh, it's so thick and it's it's slippery. Like it's not. It's not, uh, there's no grip on it, you know? Uh, no grip, lots of slip. Let's see if I can use the, the round edge. Let's see if that'll work. The round edge. No, it doesn't work at all. I can't even use it. It just keeps slipping into my fingers. Um, let's do the last verse of that song. Well, you threw me to your lions, baby. See if I would cry. I cried within my memory. And my memory is a lie. My memory. Top. Well, yes, through me, dark your mountain, baby. See if I could fly. I flew right into my memory. My memory is a lie. My memory is a lie. Well, yeah. If I lay down and die, I die within my memory, and my memory is alive. Memory is alive. All right. Well, yes, yeah, threw me to your lion's baby. Actually, haven't played this guitar. This guitar is really heavy. It feels. Um, I've had this guitar since I moved to Peterborough. I bought this like my first month in Peterborough to go busking with. Um, I've had it ever since, from 1992, and uh, I haven't picked this up even since I record. I used it on my last uh, album that I made for Merkwood. That's coming out November 15th. Um, as far as I know, um, and yeah, this is kind of my, 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 my main axe, I guess, um, for guitars. It's just got a solid cedar wood top, um, which is what sold me on it. I really wanted a solid cedar wood top. Um, it's got sides and back or some tropical wood called a Vulcanol or something like that. And it's, it's pretty decent. Um, and the neck is, uh, mahogany. And, uh, yeah, it's had some dings along the way. Like, there's a little ding back there. Um, there's a lot of blood that's kind of dried up. This guitar used to have a lot more blood on it. But you can still see some of it. Like, gooey bits of blood stuff there um yeah I, I played this guitar it's, it's it's weird the more i hold it the more it feels like home <laughs> but uh i've i've actually been playing my my uh, gretch johnny boy my mini miniature pilot parlor guitar it's not a miniature it's a parlor parlor size guitar and i much uh, prefer that for what i'm doing these days um but yeah, anyhow, so to wrap up the review, uh, Johnny, Johnny Exotic, 
these yellow picks that you sent me are fire. These are great. If I'm if I'm going to use a pick, I rarely use a pick though. Um, but when I'm playing in standard tuning and doing power chord shit or campfire chord stuff, playing my garage rock tunes, this is a great pick for me. Perfect pick. This thing, I can't even. I can't even. It. It's just slippery <laughs> and weird. Um, I hope you're not offended. Uh, I hope. I hope. I don't. I know you didn't make this. I hope a dear friend of yours didn't make it or something. Maybe you're a big fan of them, and I'm sure a lot of people would be a big, big fan of them. But these are certainly not the pick for me. Um, I'm really. I'm really. I don't. I don't like fancy bell bells and whistles and stuff like. That's what I would call this. It's like it's like a gimmick pick, you know. It's got this shape. I I can't see anyone, you know, saying I have to have my Gunas. I can't play without my Gunas, you know. Um, but yeah, so it's it's not for me, man. But uh, thanks for sending it to me. It's a cool cool thing to add to my pick box, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, Sorry, I couldn't give it a more favorable review. But anyhow, that's the view from here on Thursday, October 7th, 2021. Um, I hope you're all doing good and well. And uh, I'll see you all later. Be well and stay free.